have returned. Gunner, it's good to see a face I trust. Even your frightful muck. I thought this could be our shared saga, but it's time to leave. We have spent not but a drink together. Worry not, Eivor. You and I have many tales to tell yet. And our names ring out clear and with honor. Yeah, a tale. A tale of Gloucester. Beautiful land. Full of damned fools. Ha! I will drink to that. You have my thanks. Anything for you, old friend. Then let us say our farewells to this wicker king, and then be on our way home. Yes, Ranvi will be eager to meet Bridget. Bridget and Gunnar have already gone ahead. I should join. It's not. Then I win it here. Take me. I go so The burning of the Harvest King. It is a momentous occasion for many here. Like the Christ, he sacrifices himself for his people. So that they may prosper. But this is an empty platter for your gods. Hungry bellies are known to retaliate. None can take Kunon's place, and to put his corpse in the pyre would be an insult. Christ turns his eyes from this ritual. But you condone it. I am to be Tevda of a united land. I can no longer turn my eye from anything. Tradition dictates the burning be overseen by the High Priestess. Modron is missed here. My hand has hindered this blow twice then. Then I will oversee, as is my right, my blood. I took Modron from you. You have every right to feud with my line, once you're old enough to hold a sword. Mother saw your fate. The future will punish you greater than I ever could. Punishment or not, you will go into the future as Gloucestershire's ally. And someone I will never forget. Let the flame be set. May the crop be abundant. Abel, the honor is yours. Praise the harvest king! <laughs> Bloody pagans! Ponte 
Let's tell her the good news. Day, my love. I can hardly begin to describe what happened in Gloucestershire. I think you will learn soon enough. But we are allied with them. Yes, for all our pains. I want to see the Alliance map. I have received a unique summons from Snottinghamshire in the north. From your old friend, Billy. Billy? A name I have not heard in ten winters or more. How is he? Well, it seems. Billy asks that you join him in feast and celebration, in honor of his father, Heminger Jarl. A welcome invitation. It'll be good to see him again. It is worth recalling that his father, Heminger Jarl, would be a formidable ally. Will you go? I will leave for Snottinghamshire today. Good. They will be pleased.
Shall we? Please, Eivor. Not now. Not with Sigurd there. I should go. Dandy, I'm happy to see you. Dandy, I'm... Hey! Let's go. More sail! <laughs> Strike of the tune.
This must be Snuddingham. Saxon and Dane live in peace. I expected nothing less for land under Hemminger Jarl's rule. Trick we spoke true. You have come to England. I have. Snuddingham. It'll be good to see Vili again. Pour the meat! Well met. Information. I have it. Do you need it? Well worth a little silver, I assure you. Yes, all right. Now, show me your map. There is a place here. Pour the meat! Avor has come to Snottingham! Skull! Set off at any moment. Do I trust my own eyes? Is that truly who I see? Trigve, you old hound. How are you? Eivor, a friend of old is a good omen. Look at this. Your chin grass might be mistaken for hedges now. <laughs> But a healthy Jarl beard, it is not. And what of Vili? I was happy to get his message. I stand in Vili's place today. He and his father have gone to Ulkathor to stave off an invasion of Picts. We've laid a long siege, and Hemingr Jarl looks to finish the job. not fought beside Vili and his father since we were young. They have my blade if they need it. In spite of these war cries, you should know that Vili's father is more frail than last you saw him. How could that be? Himinger Jarl is an ox. So he is. And he'll be pleased to skull with the moon in his jaws at the sight of you. Come. The swiftest path is by river. But these waters are hostile to Norsemen. You bring good luck with you. We could guide the sail steeds downstream. I'm ready for whatever danger awaits. Prepare your convoy, and we'll be off. Our Jarl has waited long enough. We follow the Wolfkist to the encampment. Wolfkist. You'll soon have more names than the Allfather himself. I've traveled far spilling the dew of slaughter. A reputation is the price of victory. Aha! Indeed! Go. 
Ready the sea beasts. Eivor Wolfkist is here to escort us upriver. What's the matter here?
Hold here! I remember when Billy and I were small children. You spun many epic yarns for us over the hearth fire. But I do not remember you telling us how you came to serve him in Ayal. Is it a tale worth telling? It is, but a sad one. I suppose I was the age you are now. Skadi had sent us a harsh winter, and much of our clan was starving. To feed us, my family incurred a large word debt. But my youth rendered me too proud to pay it off. I wanted to raid, not toil. For my failure, Heming Jarl could have taken what he wanted from my family, including our lives. But his heart... <laughs>
I have orders to go to Stoneberg, but our camp is just ahead, so hurry on without me. Willi and Heminger Jarl will be pleased to see you. Shred my sheepskin. That there is Eivor the Wolfkist. Eivor! Hail! <gasps> we have not laid eyes on you for some ten winters now. Hail, friend. The Picts Tower. Muster the men for battle. Aid me. Be my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> 